Good morning, everyone. It's Candace Lee from Candace Lee Fired Up, um, and I'm getting started with my meal prep for this morning. Uh, if you jump in, say hello, um, start asking questions, uh, anything about meal prep planning, Epicure, whatever you'd like to know um, about what's going on today and maybe what's going on, period. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to make um, our superhero cookies, which you can actually find the recipe in our uh, Good for Real Results Guide, also online as well. I do make these a lot. <laughs> Don't, uh, um, no pre no, the word's not coming to me. Anyway, I make them a lot. I like them. They're easy to make. Um, I don't get bored with them. And uh, you can change up the flavor by using different uh, like protein powders or different fruit and nuts and all that kind of stuff. So they really work. So basically, it starts with two cups of quick oats. All right. Using our prep jar. And you're probably thinking... What's this container? So like for this is actually a protein powder container. Um, I love using them for all of my uh, dry goods. Uh, so there we go. So there we go, two cups, and it says uh, two scoops of protein powder. Um, I'm gonna use our new cocoa or chocolate one uh, just to change it up a little bit. There we go. So that's our powered up one and it's basically our chocolate protein powder. I'm actually going to add in some super greens and a little extra. Get the thingy out. So this is our super greens. I'm going to add a scoop of that and this extra bit of cocoa but this one has this this smoothie booster has some turmeric in it as well. Um, so some great super foods and all of that. All right, then it says some, some nuts or seeds or anything that you might want. Um, it actually says dried like fruit, but I'm gonna do a bit of seeds and some fruit as well. So I'm gonna do a half a cup of some pumpkin seeds. And you just heard is the oven um, telling me it's now warm enough, which is awesome. I had that started. Okay, so then it says like a banana or some applesauce. So what I'm gonna do is a little bit of each. Um, in there. So about, yep. and then it wants uh, some, some dried fruit. So what I'm gonna use for dried fruit is actually just some dates. Um, with everything going on, I haven't been out all the stores to stock up on some things, uh, some dried fruit, but dates will work just fine, so I'm just going to chop them up, make sure I toss out the seeds, because that would not be a fun cookie, getting a date seed in the middle of that. All right. Some, some fruit, dried fruit, it's a half a banana, so I put some applesauce to compensate. It needs a bit of almond milk, it says a quarter of a cup, and then it says it wants some nut butter or seed butter. So I have about a half a cup here of seed butter, so I'm going to use that, and then to compensate for the rest of it, I will just use regular peanut butter. But you can use whatever you like. So if you have seed butter, you got homemade one, you got uh, store bought. Um, I try to make my own uh, nut butter, seed butter, uh, but sometimes it doesn't always happen. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a mix and then I'm going to hand it actually over to um, my mixer so I can do other things. Wrong 
I'm just mixing up the hamburger with a bit of water and the taco seasoning. And then I'm just going to let it slowly simmer. And there. Okay, so the hamburger meat is going. I've got the superhero cookies are ready for me to pull out and mush. I will do that. We just used the taco seasoning on the hamburger. All right. tools in your kitchen if you can in your arsenal and then you have less that you have to worry about so there we go all mixed up you can see it there you go and so this is where the fun part comes in you can do it by a scoop or something if you like uh, but I'm kind of hands-on person just grab a bunch and then I just roll it up. If your hands are a little wet, it makes it a little easier. And then, yeah, that's it. So, if you're home and trying to figure out what to do with maybe your kids, because you've got them now for three weeks here in Ontario, this is an option. You know, get them in the kitchen, maybe making some things, uh, some snacks, some granola, uh, some cookies, uh, pizza. Uh, there's quite a few things you could get them in there that's kind of hands-on, maybe getting a little messy, um, but then it, you know, tends to make it fun that way, right? Um, and then that way they're one you're you're having time together or they're with you know siblings or something uh so sharing the fun of being in the kitchen and cooking together learning a new skill which is always good right maybe having fun looking up new recipes something to try And you can like double batch some of the things that you're making too. And then you freeze them so you can make a whole bunch of cookies for the next couple of weeks or some granola. And yeah. And then at least you know you got snacks in the fridge or the freezer for them when they're like, I'm hungry, I want something. Um, you don't have to be worrying about it too much because you know you've made them some yummy snacks. Um, in the freezer or the fridge 
um, and they were part of it, so they'll hopefully eat it, which I find works. As a kid, if I, my grandmother had me make bake with her all the time, um, and so I was more likely to try new things uh, because I actually made them. Um, and even things that I thought I wouldn't like. <laughs> uh, I would, uh, she would definitely encourage such things because now it's kind of like a, a pride thing, you know, because I made that, I want to know how good it tastes, um, that kind of thing. Okay, so there, a whole bunch of breakfast cookies all made up. So uh, now what I want to do is actually uh, get some chicken marinated, marinating, 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 some chicken marinating. Um, so what I have here is uh, chicken thighs, and what I'm going to actually do is use um, our new taste test, mango lassi and marinate it with that with some yogurt. And you've probably heard me say is bite size is the best. So if you can chop up things, protein and veggies into bite size, it will cut down your cooking a lot. So, you know, if you cook a chicken breast, it takes, you know, quite a long time. But if you chop up your chicken breast, you can get your cooking down to like 10 minutes if less, depending on the size and what you're doing. So. When we do things like butter chicken, or curries, or stews, or stir fries, we try to make everything bite size. So we can literally toss everything in, even the vegetables, so that everything kind of cooks evenly and quickly. And if you're vegan and vegetarian, of course, this is not an issue for you. Um, you can use your protein, uh, so whatever it is you're using. Um, and again, do the same concept of where you use it bite size for your vegetables and things, but you also can um, marinate, you know, things like jackfruit and spaghetti squash and uh, add in extra flavor to uh, those when you cook up your brown rice and that. Uh, and not just keep it, you know, you don't have to just use the same spices. You can try a different spice. All right, so that's that. Let me get that cleaned and out of the way. going to do is I need a spoon. Right. So this is almost done. So basically by having the lid on it steams it so it uh, cooks it up a little faster. And then lastly I can leave the lid off and let it uh, get rid of a lot of the moisture. So I'm going to use, hi Agnes, how are you? No worries. Um, so I'm actually gonna use some almond cashew yogurt. 
uh, with the chicken here and with the mango lassi. I do try to stay away from dairy uh, as much as I can, so I try different forms of coconut or not coconut, <laughs> of yogurt. So I'm actually using um, our mango lassi, which is our taste test for this one. Just to try something a little different. Um, and this is just gonna marinate on the chicken and we can have this uh, later um, today. And, and I have double, like double the chicken here, so we will actually make it up once, but have uh, something to eat tomorrow that's different. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing. So I'm doing a couple of proteins, so that we have a little bit of variety, a little bit of different flavors. So one Mexican and one, in essence, Indian inspired here. All right. It's awesome color and a cool smell. So their chicken is all there ready. I'm just going to that just is gonna go in the fridge and we'll cook it later. Alright. And that was with our new taste test, the mango lassi for uh, March. Okay, so Agnes, are you aware of what we made here already with superhero cookies? Because you know. Those are my bag. I make those all the time. <laughs> um, I've got some taco flavored uh, protein here um, cooking down. So this is perfect for um, well, making tacos, obviously. Um, making uh, nourish bowls, add it on to there. Um, adding just to whatever meal you might be making, something a little different. And then the chicken as well. So there's lots of chicken, there's lots of hamburger. Um, so we can have a couple of different meals and different options throughout the week. So for me, meal prepping is about just preparing protein and veggies and stuff so that when we decide what we're making um, or change the idea of what we're making, at least in essence, protein's ready, veggies are ready, the base is there. We can just go ahead and layer and change it up based on what we want. Um, so those two, they're making it easier for that, especially if we're home. Maybe we don't want to cook or maybe we do, but at least then um, if you're an entrepreneur or whatever now, if you're corporate working from home, you might forget to eat um, a bit. So this is to kind of help you with that. Okay, so the hamburger is going, the superhero cookies are going, the chicken is done. I was going to move on to ah, something um, with, I'm going to actually make uh, butter chicken flavored uh, chickpeas, which I know is a different name for that, but anyway. So I'm just gonna use the seasoning with a can of coconut milk with, oh sorry, a can of coconut milk, some chickpeas and some broccoli. And I'm gonna cook that up in the wok. Um, and then that's gonna be good to go, again, as a different flavor to add to what we're having throughout the week. <laughs> yeah, I miss that much. <laughs> All right. All right, let me know if you have any questions. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse out the can of chickpeas. butter chicken seasoning, 
If you're not a butter chicken person for seasonings, there's like the red Kai curry. You could do the uh, Thai peanuts stock fry one instead. the chickpeas are coming along okay so next is you're gonna see a little bit of a mess but um, is chopping up so the carrots I've already washed um, in some vinegar and what water you could actually use if you use essential oils lemon and all that's great and then just having them dry um, and next I was gonna work on is the celery let me put you back and then the same thing I'm just gonna have them washed in the water there and then I will uh, dry them and then put them away so I wash them dry them um, and then I just put them away in a Tupperware or some kind of container whatever is good so uh, bite-sized pieces or snack sized pieces another option is you could chop them into little pieces if you knew you were going to be making something where you wanted to add it to so for me uh, Oh, the word I was going to say. Oh, my nourish bowls. <laughs> my salads that I make for my for my lunches and stuff. Um, I'll chop up these into small pieces and then add that to there. But they also are great for your stir fries. And you don't just have to do that for um, carrots and celery, of course. Uh, whatever your favorite um, vegetable are, uh, go ahead and just chop them up. Uh, zucchinis are great whatever you can find um, especially with what's going on right now um, for frozen is awesome too so if you can't find uh, you know fresh see if you can find frozen um, and hopefully you've stocked up a little bit in your fridge or your freezer so you have some available uh, to make your thing like I just did with the broccoli. We always have some broccoli and peas or beans and that in the um, freezer. Okay. So I just let that soak a little bit in the vinegar and water and then I'll pull them out and dry. So there we are. So I've got vegetables um, being chopped and prepped and ready to go. I've got green beans already. I got carrots, I got celery. Uh, we have frozen already because of things we've made throughout the week. Um, if you watched earlier this week, I made, uh, we made lasagna and I have an issue with zucchini texture. I'm not, a, I'm not very good with texture on that. So what I like is to do something different with zucchini. So this time we blended it with a bit of ricotta cheese and a lot of spinach, like a whole like 10 ounces worth of spinach. I blended it up using the food processor and it was perfect. So now uh, that's our nice green veggie layer that we add in um, uh, to our lasagnas or even to um, sauces like marinara and things like that. And it's even great, I've realized great for making like creamy spinach dip and stuff like that because it's already prepared. You just got to add a little zing to it or some special seasoning, whatever it is you want and it's good. So we made a whole bunch of that. Um, Here's our frozen version <laughs> of all that. But lots of broth in the freezer already from making broth earlier. Um, just pulled these out for this week for snacks because I made a whole bunch last time. I got tons of the uh, protein balls. You can make those this week if you'd like. 
um, if you're home alone, uh, if you want to quarantine yourself or just don't want to uh, be out with people. If you got your kids home, as we're talking about, you have another awesome thing to make with your kids. You don't have to cook, they just, you just blend it all up. And that's it. I'm just going to give this another stir now that it's warming up. And the superhero cookies are almost ready. So there we go. Uh, so there's in essence three types of sauces, three types of proteins, all prepped and ready to go. Lots of vegetables, so there's broccoli already frozen, there's carrots, beans, celery, um, zucchini with the spinach, all L uh, Brussels sprouts. Um, I'm gonna pull those out and give them a wash and away I go. And then uh, we've got protein, we've got the vegetables, uh, we got sauces easy to make um, our meals for this week while we're home. And then of course the breakfast cookies, perfect for snack or if you want for your breakfast in the morning. So that's it. I think I'm good. I don't really feel like I need to do too much more. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to message me or post in the event or if you want, uh, join my VIP private group um, for my customers. Um, I give tips and ideas and yeah and I'm always there to help. So have a beautiful day and I will see you virtually. Have a great day, Agnes. Uh, message me if you have any questions or anything. Um, I'd also love to hear uh, what you guys are making for your meal prep morning because I know you're doing it as well. Uh, so let me, let's see what you're doing because that's awesome. So take care. Bye.